And as you can see, the lights are on now. Oh, I hear somebody. Oh, hey! Uncalled for! I'm at least getting better with those button prompts. So that we need to get back downstairs. Totally ignoring you guys. Get downstairs. Nothing else to do in these rooms, we've already explored them, so we may as well just be on our merry way. If they'll let us, and if not, they get katana. You broke my katana, I stomp on you. Got a little too carried away attacking there instead of stomping. It can be easy to do. With that, we're back in the control room, and with the lights on, we can pull curtain control. Sounds like the curtains come up. But we'll worry about that after a bit of a refreshing pause. We're almost at the end of the theater. This place has gone a lot more smoothly. Not exactly a hard challenge to be a smooth area compared to the sanitarium, but back in a moment. Okay, now that we have the safety curtain up, it's time for my favorite part of the theater. I thought this was such a cool gimmick. With the curtain up, we can get back here. And there's a bloody great mirror here. Now, if we go ahead and go back here, there's really not much to it. Some basic stage lighting, just a large, expansive wooden boards. Nothing much to do here. In fact, I don't think there's actually anything to do here. Nothing to pick up. No real reason to come to this area. So, what's the point of it? There is more backstage. If the camera would cooperate with me. Okay, he's not too interested in anything over on this side. The other side, however... ...is quite a long distance. But we have a control panel, scenery, and props.
have a nice stone archway there with some trees. A table with books on it. Nothing going on just yet, because we have not made a full scene. Cave, that's not right. Bookshelves. We've influenced the other world. Wooden prop table. Books and papers are painted on it. But if we go in the other world now... We find ourselves actually in a library with books that we can read. Chapter 2. Repression and Coercion. It is a fact well known to intelligence services and military agents. The more controlled a mind, the more a mind censors itself, the easier it is for outside influence to take hold and piggyback such mental programming. This is why these agencies choose for their pawns those individuals most compromised by their own mental issues. wonder what that could be getting at. These books are in a language I don't recognize. The letters are strange. Some of these books are strange to look at. An ampule, lovely. Rifle ammo? Must have been the magazine section. Pudding Ching! Chapter 3. Manifestations of Delusions Phenomena such as telekinesis, poltergeists, to use a popular term, often occur. They seem frequent alongside negative emotions, fear, worry, or stress, suggesting it is these emotions which are manifesting as external energy with physical effects. Nightmares are especially strong triggers. In all cases, these phenomena arise from children or adolescents, and the overwhelming majority of subjects are female. More rifle ammo. More camera angles. These books aren't even made of paper. Yes, it's a thin metal. Ever been to Metaluna? Throughout these case studies, we see the victims' brains struggling to cope with the conflict caused by abuse at the hands of a loved one. In many cases, the abused child self appears to split in two. One personality continues to love the abuser and seeks their approval. The other personality contains all the rage and anger of the abused and in many ways becomes a mirror of the abuser, seeking to inflict its pain on others. Sadly, it's often this self that becomes dominant. Looks like there's another one on this side. Amongst the tribes who have developed the ability to control and focus their projections, there exists one that's feared throughout the whole community. Their shaman claims to have the ability to kill with thought alone, projecting his desire to kill into the body of the victim. Not made of paper. Completely alien to me. Completely alien. So, that's pretty much all we had to do in this particular other world. But there are others to make. So, trying the second prop, we get a tree. Well, earlier in the scenery, we had a archway with other trees. So, let's go see what we've made now. It's a wooden tree.
as opposed to? Aren't all trees kind of wooden? So we find ourselves in a forest other world. All that we really need to do though is come over here to this particularly nasty looking tree and we get the stage office key. Really Travis, nothing to say about the creepiness of this, huh? Be not a fear. The aisle is full of noises. Sounds and sweet airs that give the light unheard of. Sometimes a thousand clankling instruments will hum about mine ears. And sometimes voices that if I then had waked after long sleep, will make me sleep again. But then, in dream, clouds being thought would open and show riches, ready to drop upon me. That when I waked, I cried to dream again. So with that, we're done with this over, uh, with this particular other world. That, that's not where I need to go. That's too far. There we go. So with that comes the problem. We need to create another other world. But we're missing a lever. We need to go find that lever. <laughs> 